At four months old, Josue Salinas Salgado is going home from the hospital for the first time since he was born. Josue has a rare heart defect that would be fatal without treatment. In order for babies born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome to survive, doctors must completely reconstruct how blood flows so that the right side of the heart can do the work of the left. It takes a series of three open heart surgeries. That right ventricle uh, tires out over time and it becomes dysfunctional. When it becomes dysfunctional, uh, then it can't pump blood efficiently to the body. And so that limits uh, the outcomes for these babies. Nearly 1,000 babies born in the U.S. every year are diagnosed with the defect, a missing or misshapen left ventricle. The three surgery procedure has made huge improvements, but only about 65% of these children make it to five years old. Long term, uh, they have complications. And so uh, we're trying to prevent that. We're trying to improve on that uh, outcome. Dr. Sanjay Kaushal of the University of Maryland Medical Center is leading a trial for a new procedure, injecting stem cells into the baby's heart during the second surgery. Josue was one of the first patients to undergo the experimental treatment. We're very grateful, grateful to God for giving us the strength to get through these difficult months and for giving Dr. Kaushal wisdom. Before he was wheeled into surgery, Josue's parents clasped hands and prayed over their child. The study is a first step to test whether injecting stem cells donated from a stranger into a baby's heart is safe. Josue will still need a third surgery by the time he's three, but his parents cling to hope that stem cells may give his tiny heart the best chance of beating the odds. Krista Fourier, Associated Press, Baltimore. Yeah.